What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. Back with a second video today on Friday. There's a lot of news coming out um, about Windows 11 lately because of the event yesterday. And today's quick video is Microsoft has now updated the PC health check um, program that came out so that you can check to see if your computer is compatible to running Windows 11. And uh, as you could see in front of you before I clicked away that my computer is not compatible. So if I hit check now, it says uh, your processor is not supported for Windows 11. They updated it so it actually explains what is wrong with your computer in order to uh, have Windows 11. And I was then curious what processors are supported for Windows 11. So if I take a look right here, this is the Microsoft minimum requirements for Windows 11. PC did not meet the requirements. And you can see it says for processor, it needs one gigahertz and, or faster with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor or an SOC system on a chip, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage or larger, UEFI and secure boot capable and TPM 2.0, which I just made a video earlier today for. Um, you need a DirectX 12 compatible graphics, WDDM 2.X, so 2 point whatever, supported graphics card, 9 inch display or larger that supports 720p, and for Windows 10 11 home, you need an internet connection for that first initial setup um, for uh, Windows 11. But the important thing was the compatible 64-bit processor. So I was curious, what is a compatible 64-bit processor? And in this tab here, uh, there's a link, and this link tells everything. Um, and of course, I'm going to zoom in for that. So you can see for AMD, these are the supported AMD um, processors for Windows 11. And you can go through, I'm not going to go through all of it, but I was curious because I'm running a Ryzen 1800X, a Ryzen 7. And if I scroll down all the way down here, you can see for Ryzen 7, uh, we only have AMD Ryzen 7 3700C, 3700U, 3750H. There's no there's no Ryzen 1800X supported. So if you have a Ryzen 7 1800X or even the the 1000 series, the Ryzen 1000 series, the original Ryzen processors, you in fact are not supported for Windows 11, unfortunately, which is a good thing for me. Luckily that I am building a new computer running the 5800X. So I'm solid with that. So I just want to make a quick video for showing that they do have those true system requirements for Windows 11 supported motherboards and things like that and supported processors and things like that. So if I even go back, um, you can see IoT core processors that are supported for this whole for Windows and things like that. Um, so if I click under here, Windows Client Edition Processors, one that, which is that original link, you can see under Windows 11, you got AMD supported processors, which we just looked at. We got the supported Intel processors, which is a whole bunch here. I don't use Intel, so um, I'll just post a link below so you guys can see it. It supports all the way way back as far as um, the 10. Let's see. Let's see. It's a 10th gen. Let me see the oldest generation I can find in here for Intel. I see 11 gen in here. I see Pentiums in here, Pentium Silver. Um, it looks like 10th gen and above for Intel. Is it 9th or 10th gen? Nope, 9th generation Intel chips. Nope, 8th generation Intel is supported. So Intel, for Intel Core, which is their Core i series of processors, the 8th generation of Intel Core processors is for the major line and for those gaming PC people, that's what you can upgrade with Windows to Windows 11 with. There are a whole bunch of other ones supported. Just click that link so you can find out for yourselves. So I just wanted to make that real quick, um, what the supported uh, minimum requirements for Windows 11 are. And uh, unfortunately, other than the fact that this computer is enrolled in the Insider program, so I can still download the Insider builds up until release. Um, this computer is not necessarily supported for Windows 11, but my new PC is. So let me know what you guys think about this whole stuff. Um, there's been a lot of shenanigans for Windows 11 lately. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Take care. Have a good weekend.